friends, this is Ganesh. Now I'm going to explain basic commands of DBMS or maybe the database languages. So which commands are needed to construct in the database or to update in the database or to insert in the database. Those commands are explained with some of simple simple examples. So basic commands are mainly we are considered DDL and another one is the DML. So if you know about these two commands, we will be definitely cover one uh, essay question like maybe seven marks question. So number of times asking about what are the basic commands of the database languages or what are the types of database languages or the explain directly DDL and DML commands like this. So and we are also considered another two types of languages also those are nothing but data control language and another one is the transaction control. So before going to these comments, so we, we first of all we try to identify which type of comments are considered into these languages. I think the name is in place. First one is the data definition language. Data definition language. So here uh, we are, uh, easily remember these comments. So but some of the students may be confused if you are asking some of uh, what are the DDL comments maybe they are explaining about DML. If you are asking DML, they are explained DCL. So we try to avoid this confusion with small techniques. So uh, if, the, if we are consider the DDL comments, simply these are CAD. Simply these are put CAD. So those are nothing but created, alter, and another one is the drop. And uh, in another point of view, students having the confusion whether it is a drop or not the delete. If you are identify the data definition language, so that means these commands are used for to giving the definition. So when we are based upon the definition, each and every command starts with the table. For example, create table table name. Am I right or not? So in the same way, alter table table name. So drop table table name. And in, in some point of views, maybe consider the truncate also. Truncate, truncate is also the same thing, truncate table, table. So if you are observe these comments, each and every comment start with the table. But if you are consider the delete command, not consider the table. Only data definition language only consider the table. Create table table name, alter table table name, drop table table name, target table table name. And we also know about what is the purpose. Okay. And if you are consider the DM, DM, we are consider the DM. So how we are identify these terms? Simply US ID. US ID. US ID means first one is the update. Second one is the select. And another one is the insert. And another one is the delete. Okay, sure, sir. update, select, insert, delete. And another type of the commands are data control language. Data control language, how we are controlling the language. How we are controlling the language means nothing but simply, uh, nothing but uh, we are here. How to control means nothing but what are the users. So, how to allow the users to access, grant the users, at the same time, remove the users. Okay, and another one is the transaction control language, those are nothing but commit, rollback, commit, rollback. So these are the transaction control languages. Okay, so that means basically we are giving the first importance for DDL and DML. So in the case of DDL, create, order, drop. In some point of view, consider maybe the truncate also. And DML, data manipulation language, I think the name is implies when we are performing the some manipulation on the language, then we are based upon the, these commands. Update, select, insert, delete. And another the data control language, we are giving the permission for the users. At the same time, we are removing the permissions. And another one, transaction control language. Commit, rollback. Okay, now we are uh, simply remember these comments with some examples. I think you are having some clarity. Okay, now first of all, I may explain about the DDL.
radial controls. Okay, I think uh, we are able to explain with the name data definition planes. Data definition planes. So that means here we are giving some definition. So what is the meaning of definition data? So what is type of data? For example, if we are creating a student database, so uh, we are giving the name, am I right or not? So which type of database it is and which type of data we are giving about the students and uh, maybe in some type of situations need not to the database. So that means simply creating the database at the same time alter the database at the same time dropping the database. So these are the basic commands. Uh, now we are creating one student table like this for example okay. this is the student table name stud student number student name and then one is the marks for example 1, 2, 3 A, B, C 90, 80, 70 for example maybe this is the student table then how we are creating this table we also know about this but why I am explaining is some of the students are in the doubt. But uh, we should be having the, as a CSC students, we should be having the uh, knowledge about some of the core subjects like DBMS, operating system, computer networks, and etc. Okay, uh, how we are creating this table? So, create table, table name. So, what is the table here? Create student. Okay, create table, table name. First, we write this index. Create table, table name. Next, freelance, freelance database. Every command should be ended with a semicolon. We also know about this. Now, create a table, create a table. What's the table in here? Stud. Now add the field names. What is the first field name? Student number. And which type of data type is accepting here? So maybe in this numerical value or maybe the we consider the float. Okay? And maybe we simply consider the number also. And <coughs> another one is the student name. So here we are consider the worker data type. For example, I'm consider the worker of 10. And another one is the marks. Marks is also belonging to the numerical data type. So that's why I'm giving the number data type. So when we are giving the command is like this, then the output is table created. Okay? Table created. Simple. Let's how we are uh, for example, we try to verify whether the table is created or not. Then uh, we are using the command is select star from table name but uh, uh, from the above syntax yes when we are creating the table but we are not inserting any rows so no rows are selected this is the output no rows are selected then how we are uh, see about the table description through using the dis desc okay desc table name so what is the table name here still if you are giving like this, then it will be giving the what are the uh, maybe the fields and maybe the column names of the table. Then we are easily inserting the values in the table. Then output is like this maybe student number, number, student name, worker, and marks number like this. Okay. Now after using the create command, next we are using the insert. I think the name is implex. This command is used for to insert in the values into the table. Okay. Next, uh, next we are using the command is insert. Insert. So insert means something about inserting the values into the table. So syntax is insert into table name values. Insert into table name values and we are giving the value. 
this is the syntax so i got into the about type of information where how we are giving the values here so insert into table name so what is the table name stud values so we are, uh, here we are having the different types of ways to giving the values in the table so now i am using directly giving the values to the table so simply one a and another one is 90 and need not to mention the single quotes if it is a numerical data type even though we have mentioned single quotes there is no error so uh, i am using the single quotes here so insert into table name values 1 a 90 and using the semicolon and then another command so then the command and then output is one row inserted one row inserted okay now how we are see the data how we are see the data we also know about this select start from table so what's the table name here start so when i am using this command then simply it will be giving the command so student number student name marks one a 90 okay but in the case of pdl just only we are consider the create command and next we are using the alter command next we are using the drop command but uh, why i am using the insert here so just i am mixing the comments here yeah. okay so ddl and dml so this i am uh, explaining in the application point of view okay we try to observe the comments otherwise just only we will go through just ddl next dml as DCL, as TCL, whatever, make no problem. Okay, next we'll go for the alter. Alter. 